Hey there, Abundant Artists. It's Jennifer Joy helping you to build a hugely profitable creative business and an abundant life. And today we are going to talk about the three things that you should never, ever, ever say to yourself if you want to have that success, that feeling of satisfaction in your business and in your life. So I want to start with a quote by Einstein. He said famously that no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. I'm going to say that one more time. No problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. So let's think about that for a moment. So say you've got an issue, you're procrastinating on something, or you're planning to expand your marketing and you're confused about how to do that, or you've been holding yourself back, playing small, or maybe not embracing the opportunities that are out there because you're only seeing all the negatives of what is in front of you. So if you are thinking from that consciousness, if you're in that consciousness, those problems are going to persist because you are coming at them from the same level of consciousness. So let's look at what your consciousness is creating in your world, right? You're looking for maybe success, abundance, prosperity, good relationships, good sales, uh, feeling good about your work, confidence. But if you're not experiencing that in your life, you may be experiencing some of these other symptoms that your consciousness isn't in that abundant or prosperous mindset. So perhaps you're feeling paralyzed, like you're spinning your wheels, right? Not getting anywhere. Or maybe you have the self-blame, feeling guilty that you're never doing enough or being enough. So maybe you're working in your business and you think you should be with your family and you're with your family and you think you should be working with your business. Or you're defeated. You just can't win. The odds are stacked against you. You can't win no matter what you do. Or perhaps you're out of control. You feel out of control, so overwhelmed and overly busy, and you don't know how to get off this ride. Or you're impatient. You want your results now. You want those results now. Or so exhausted that you're dragging yourself through your days. Now, again, these are signs that your consciousness might not be where it could be and might not be contributing to your success, but actually contributing to you staying stuck in these situations. So like I said, exhausted, just dragging yourself through your days. Self-righteous, thinking that they, <coughs> excuse me, can't even get that out of my mouth. Let me take a drink. Self-righteous, thinking that they are all jerks out there and they don't appreciate you or they take advantage of you or others that self-righteousness. Or finally, maybe you just feel misunderstood. People just don't get you. Maybe your friends and family don't understand why you're doing this whole creative thing to begin with, and they don't own a business, and they don't understand the hours it takes, right? So they just don't get you. So if you are coming from that consciousness, like I said, you are going to continue, or not even like I said, like Einstein said, you can't solve the problems in front of you. You can't solve that, I, you know, what am I going to do with my marketing? How am I going to grow my engagement? How am I going to price my work? If you are stuck in that consciousness, paralyzed, self-blame, defeated, out of control, impatient, exhausted, self-righteous, misunderstood, right? So what happens when you're in those states? You might say one of these three things, and it's sort of a self-perpetuating cycle like Einstein is saying, right? You think these thoughts and they show up in your reality because you're on that same level of consciousness. And then because you're in that level of consciousness, these thoughts keep arising. So what are the three things? Here it comes, drum roll please, right? Things you should never, ever, ever say to yourself if you wanna escape those consciousness and succeed and prosper. Number one, I don't know how to do that. Number two, I don't have those things and whatever those things are. I don't have the money. I don't have the engagement. I don't have the confidence, the charisma, the talent. I don't have those things. And number three is, well, I'm not like those people. 
those people can do it because X, Y, Z, but I'm not like them. So that's the three things. Never say to yourself, I don't know how to do that. I don't have those things and I'm not like those people. <laughs> now, I know what you're saying. What's wrong with that? I mean, I really don't know how to do this thing, right? I, do, I really don't have these things, right? It's normal to have those thoughts. So what I want to do, I'm saying you should never have those thoughts, but you don't have control. Those things pop into your head. So we're going to talk today about what to do to one, reduce the frequency of those thoughts floating in your head and reduce the intensity of those thoughts floating in your head. All right. So let's talk about these thoughts and this whole level of consciousness creating these things that we don't want. I like to use, well, this isn't my construct. If you search on it on Google, you will find this. There's TFAR, it's called, and it can be shifted in different ways, but let's just use TFAR. T standing for thoughts, F standing for feelings, A standing for actions, and R standing for results. All right, so you're, if you're not getting results, if you're feeling paralyzed, blaming yourself, defeated, out of control, self-righteous, misunderstood, all those things we talked about, if you're getting those results in your life, those are what you're experiencing in your life, we have to actually back up and look at the other things, starting with the T. So let's say you have the thought, I don't know how to do that. How do you respond to that thought? Do you respond in a way that strengthens you and makes you feel good? Or do you respond in a way that weakens you? That actually, science proves it actually creates dissonance. For most people, if we take that on negatively, I don't know how to do that, I don't have these things, I'm not like those people, those thoughts can actually weaken us, right? Our whole, our whole system gets stressed and we vibrate at a lower frequency. We have dissonance in our body between our mind and our heart. Science, it really happens. So if we have those thoughts, let's think about if we're in that part where it's, it weakens us, if it weakens us, what are the A actions that we take? We might procrastinate. We might just avoid avoidance. We might, um, we might give up. We might just throw our hands in the hair and, air and say, you know, I can't do this, right? I don't know how to do that when it weakens you. How about I don't have those things? Well, I'm never going to be rich. I'm never going to have that money. I'm never going to have those that talent. I'm never going to have that charisma. What actions do you take when you have those thoughts that weaken you? Probably look similar, right? You want to give up. You, you might sleep a lot. You might procrastinate, put things off. You might get distracted with other things, right? And the same thing, I'm not like those people. I can never do that. I can never have that. I'm not like them. They're special. They're lucky. They're blessed. When it weakens us, we take those actions or inactions. We don't take actions. And then what happens? Let's look at that next T far, T far that R, right? What results do we get? Well, the chances are you are not getting the results you want if you're letting those thoughts weaken you, if you aren't consciously working with those thoughts. And that's what we're talking about today. It's really, like Einstein said, we are not creating from that same level of consciousness. We want to be a conscious creator and up the level of our consciousness. So like I said, those three phrases, I don't know how, I don't have those things, I'm not like those people right? How can we use those to strengthen ourselves instead of putting us in that state of dissonance, low frequency, and stress? Well, it's, it's sort of simple on the surface. What successful people do, and especially successful creatives, when they come against those three thoughts, if those thoughts do pop into their head, instead of letting it weaken them, they use it to strengthen them. So instead of going into that defeated, self-blame, paralyzed, self-righteous, misunderstood mindset and consciousness, they go, hey, this is part of my job to figure this out. I can make this happen. I'm going to learn. If I don't know now, I'm going to learn. 
I'm going to get help. I'm going to hire a mentor or a coach. I'm going to take a course. I am going to go online. I am going to figure this out and let it strengthen me instead of weaken, right? So that is what you do. It is your job to not only create amazing work, your job not only to work on your business, but number one, it starts with T, that thought, T far, is to change your thoughts, to monitor your thoughts, to begin consciously cre creating and noticing when those thoughts stop you. And instead of letting them stop you, to let yourself grow into those thoughts, grow with those thoughts and say, you know what? I can do this. I'm going to make it happen. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is let's look at the type of person that makes these things happen. Someone who doesn't let the, doesn't stay in defeat and overwhelm and being misunderstood, self-righteous, doesn't stay there, but actually takes these thoughts and moves themselves forward from a place of empowerment. What type of person does that? And you, I want you to pick your own word. What type of person does that? Who goes for it instead of letting these thoughts stop them? So maybe it's a courageous person. Maybe it's a motivated person. Maybe it's a strong person or a person who's a model for their children or other artists in the community or creatives. What type of person lets these thoughts propel them forward instead of hold them back? So I want you to think of that word. Think of that word, okay? That's step one. Step two, we're gonna take T far and flip it. <laughs> and instead of making it T far, we're going to make a raft. And my friend Vicki really introduced me to this idea of creating your raft to help you float. So R-A-F-T, the same words, results, actions, feelings, thoughts. Okay, so let's take a moment to look at what results you want in your business. This is step two right, of turning it around, getting out of that broke artist mindset and turning it around so that you can be prosperous and successful in your life and your business. So what results do you want? What does it look like to be successful? What does it look like? What does it look like? Take a moment to envision it. What does that look like? No matter what's going on in the world, what does that look like? Are you selling your work? Are you making new con connections? Do you have engagement? Are you visible? Are you taking more trips, which I know is a little hard right now, but are you traveling? Are you doing that, that project that's close to your heart? What results do you want? So we're, we're talking about no more defeated, no more out of control, no more impatient, exhausted, self-righteous, misunderstood, paralyzed, self-blame. How do we turn that around? What results do you want? All right, now here we go. Are you ready? All right, we've got our results. Say I want a prosperous business where I have flexibility in my day so that I can be, you know, in my hobby. So for me, I shouldn't even call it my hobby. My part of my creative work is my theater group. So my life is time for my business, my coaching business for creatives. It's part of my creative work in the theater. It's part of my family, right? Those things that for me are the results I want is to have space and time and flexibility to do all of those things. That's the result I want. So now take that word that we talked about in step one, right? Take that word. How does that person achieve that, right? What actions do they take? You know, I was talking last week to a client who said that by doing this type of exercise, she increased her income. It was her goal to increase her income to six figures. And she did. Matter of fact, she went to $147,000 that year, right? By envisioning the results she wanted and then acting as if you are strong, courageous, whatever that word is, empowered, um, motivated. So ask yourself, what would that type of person do to get those results? What would that type of person do? 
to get those results. So we're on the A of action. What would that type of person do to get those results? What types of feelings would that type of person have? What types of feelings would the courageous, strong, empowered, motivated, whatever your word is, what types of feelings do they have on a day-to-day -day basis? I'm sure it's not overwhelm and out of control and paralyzed, right? They're having maybe feelings of confidence. Maybe that was your word, that's fine. Um, but maybe they feel confident. Maybe they feel inspired. Maybe they have that can-do attitude, right? So what, act, what feelings would they have? And what thoughts would they have? This is how we consciously create, right? So instead of thinking, I don't know how to do this, I don't have those things, I'm not like those people, they are thinking, I can do this, I can learn this, I can have this, I can be this person, this type of person, right? So that's how we flip it around, raft. So I hope this is supporting you. I hope I didn't give you too much in this little Tuesday training. But it really is about coming from a new consciousness, right? The consciousness of that person that can be abundant and successful. So your job is to consciously create from that raft, right? What results do you want? What actions does that type of person take? What feelings and what thoughts? And monitor for when the other ones come into your head. Don't let them weaken you. Take them and make yourself stronger so that you can come at the problem in front of you from a higher consciousness instead of at that same consciousness. Get your raft. So your job, your number primary thing is number one, to practice acting like that word. Practice that, that type of person who gets those results, right? Start acting like that. Practice acting like that using the raft. All right, I would love to hear from you. If this has supported you and you're in this Facebook community, go ahead and hashtag replay down on the bottom and let me know what insight you got, what type of person you are practicing being, the type of person that succeeds and wins and has a fantastic life and an amazing business. Go ahead and put it in the comments. Hit the like button and I will catch you on next week's Tuesday training. Until then, get out there, express yourself, be yourself, share your special spark. Bye-bye.